Hey, Peter. Hey, what's going on? Is something wrong? No, 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 no. Every, everything's, everything's cool right now. Might be some problems later, but uh, we'll cross that bridge when we come to it. Hello? Peter did what? Well, I best be getting to work. It's nighttime. Boy, you said it. All right, take it easy. Quagmire, it's so awesome that you could come over after work today. I know, I'm so psyched. Hey, let's make some Kool-Aid. No, we gotta wait for Lois to do it. No, we don't. I know how to make Kool-Aid. No, Quagmire, we're not supposed to... <gasps> I'm home, Peter. Oh, hi, Glenn. Come on, you're worrying about nothing. Oh, remember when you got drunk off a of communion wine at church? And so the Lord God smote poor Job with festering boils all over his body. Oh, man, I hate it when he tells the story. Yet, miraculously, Job was still able to retain his dignity. <laughs> Whoa, is that really the blood of Christ? Yes. Man, that guy must have been wasted 24 hours a day, huh? Okay, sell wheel, just like practice. Not sure can do it. You so money, don't know it. Hi, me Peter. Tired walking every place? Need something make you go? Peter Wheel make you go. Maybe Joe want try wheel on chair. For last time, Joe no want. <laughs> oh, believe me, I've been trying. That's why I went on that game show. For $800, this chemical dye is found in over 95% of all cosmetic products. Diarrhea. <laughs> what? Oh, 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 sorry, sorry. What is diarrhea? Come on, Brian, we really need a new air conditioner. Well, Meg has the mumps all right. How is it she was never immunized? Well, it was 1992, and I couldn't be bothered with anything that didn't involve Dan Cortez. Besides, what's a big deal? I never got a mumps shot. Really? Well, I'd caution you that getting the mumps as an adult could result in serious complications. In some cases, the symptoms could spread to the testicular glands. Big deal, so I'll wear socks. Mr. Griffin, your testicles are not in your feet. Well, dig in, everyone. Hello, Ida. Hello, Brian. How have you been? Very well, thank you. He threw up when he found out you were a monster. This food is so good, Lois. Ah, oh, okay. Wow. Hey, is there room at that table for one more? <gasps> Peter, please don't underestimate them. I guarantee you, I am never gonna hear from those guys again. Peter. Ah! It is time to repay your favor to the Don. Ah, oh, jeez. Well, at least that's one problem solved. Wait a second, got something. This could be the real deal, boys. Let's do it! Dirtbag! And I'm a man who enjoys his taffy. Mmm. Ooh. Mmm. Oh. Mmm. 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 You know what sucks, Brian? We don't got a problem with our drinking. It's everybody else who's got a problem with our drinking. Wait a minute, Peter. That's it. The issue isn't that these people are alcoholics. They just have nowhere to drink without being judged. She slams us into the monkey bars, but none of us have the language skills to call her on it. All right, men, your mission tonight is to stave off the invading forces of the Tooth Fairy. SpongeBob, you watch the east. Starscream, you take the west. And Manny Faces, you take Center Patrol, since you have many faces. <laughs> hey, 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 it's okay. It's morning. Is it? Ha! I knew it! I scared her off. Uh, you might want to check under your pillow. Ah, Dostoevsky. The mad Russian. Good stuff. Good stuff. You're not going to get the $26, and you're despicable for trying. What? Oh, oh you thought... I was...
wasn't trying to get the $26. I thought we were just having a perfectly innocent conversation about literature. Oh, you're silly. You're silly. I, I love that you'd go there. You're, you're silly. Goodbye. Peter, the toilet paper is made of money. Yeah, and look at this. They even got some of that high-class British porn. Almost. 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 There we are. Well done. Peter, you're scaring me. I'm beginning to think you're losing your grip on reality. Boring. I'm gonna go see what else is on. Peter! Keep an eye on Stewie. Don't move. <laughs> oh! A little help. Our top story, a local woman loses her sex drive after a $125 dinner at Alfredo's. But first in medical news, Dr. Elmer Hartman, beloved family doctor to all of Quahog, is the target of a molestation lawsuit. The trial is set to begin tomorrow. We now return you to Native American What's Happening. Hey, rerun. You see Dwayne? Not today. Oh, here he come. How, how, how? Mr. and Mrs. Griffin, I've reviewed your situation, and I have a suggestion. We're willing to do whatever it takes. I'd like to put video cameras in every room of your house so that I can observe your uncensored behavior. Wow, just like that show Big Brother. It's except somebody will be watching. Well, the safety of our children is a very important part of my plan for Quahog. I have a 12-point program for the security... <laughs> I'm sorry, your time is up. Oh. <laughs> No, 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 I'm not impressed, I'm not impressed, not yet. Mayor West, if re-elected, would you increase the frequency of garbage pickup? We're still working some of the bugs out of our latest invention, permasuds. Beer that never goes flat. No matter how old it gets, it stays carbonated. Ooh. Brian, wait, maybe, maybe we should stick with the group. Beer that never goes flat. Do you know what that means, Brian? Well, we hear that one a lot around here. Of course, there's a very easy way of detecting fraud. Mr. Griffin, what is your wife's birthday? Uh, uh, give, give, me, give, me, give me another one. Give me another one. Where is your wife's hometown? Uh, 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 what, what, one more. One more. What is your wife's favorite outdoor activity? Uh, things an overcoat would say. Um, I'm covered with water. Uh, uh, th things, things an umbrella would say. Uh, I'm, I'm, you wear me. Where the hell is Quagmire? I don't know. He said improv rehearsal at 7, right? Yeah, where is Quagmire? I haven't seen him all day. Oh, you know what? I think he went down to the bank. What was that? What'd you hit me for? I'm passing the story on to you. Keep it going. Keep the story going. Huh? What's Quagmire doing at the bank? It's improv, Peter. You don't think. You don't think. You don't think. You just keep talking. You don't think. Don't think. Don't think. What comes to mind? Talk, 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 talk. I I'm sorry, Lois. I was mistaken. I thought you threw the ball in there, but I can see now you still have it. Go get the ball! I say, are you blind or just stupid? What do you mean? Perhaps you'd like to see what Lois and the fat man have been up to in your absence. Why are you here again? Oh my god, I am so, so sorry. Uh, it's no problem, don't worry about it. <laughs> What's that smell? It, it smells like wet dog in here. That is the, the smell of backed up, unreleased genital essence. As I said, he's been an amazing gentleman. Meg, put down the gun. Brian, get back in the car. Look, don't do this. This isn't you, Meg. What happened to the girl we used to know? The one that Luke fell in love with? The one he's expecting to see when he steps out of that prison in 40 years? I don't care about Luke. I don't need him. I don't need anyone. Look, if you don't put the gun down, I'm going to be forced to call the police. Good! Call the police! I want you to! What do I care if I go back to prison? Nobody cares about me anyway! But on the way, I passed a lake, skipped a few rocks, and had some black guy thinking time. Loretta, we leave certain parts of our lives in the past for a reason. What you and I, you can go ahead and put your clothes back on, what you and I had was a wonderful thing. Stewie, Shawanda said she saw you sneaking food. What? She said she saw you in the back of the kitchen sneaking a fish sandwich. Oh, come on, dude. Yes, okay, but but the thing was five minutes past the throwout time. Well, be that as it may, Shawanda took these pictures on her cell phone. You're fired. <sighs> you know, Mom and Dad, I'm really glad that you kept me from doing what I was going to do. Well, that's what parents are for, Meg, no matter what age you are. We love you, and we just never want to see you hurt. I only wish I'd seen what was going on from the start like your father did. Let's find out 
find out who you really are. <gasps> Dr. House? Indeed, Lois. And if you don't mind, I'll address you in my natural speaking voice, as I've grown so weary of doing an American accent. Do you want to come to my Big Bang viewing party next week? Daddy, you don't have to do that anymore. I know, I know. I, I, I like it now. <laughs>